Hello everyone, it is your girl Christina and today is a different type of video. I am having an open conversation. I've been wanting to have a good sit down and let's chat talk video for a while. So hello everyone, how are you? My name is Christina. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to this channel, welcome to an open conversation. You're gonna really get to know me. Like if you're new to this channel and you're just joining today, I'm just like, this might be the video for you to join, but you're gonna get my energy. So I feel like this video is a good video if you wanna know my energy, you know? But yes, everyone, this is like, I get to know me and let's just chat. Like, I'm so excited to be here chatting. I've wanted to do something like this for a while. You know, I used to do my let's get rare, but I took a break from that because I feel like I wasn't really saying anything much, you know, nothing really happened. But it's been a long time and I've had a lot of growth as a person. And just even today, I've had more growth. And just, you know, every day I learn how, you know, perception and how I want to live my life and how like, you know, we all are doing amazing. And, you know, I try keeping a very open conversation on this channel, like what's going on with me. And I hope that we could both have that conversation together. You know, I love this channel. This is all I want to do, but we do need a chat. I think we do need a chat right now about my channel and stuff that is going on. And I'm so excited for y'all to sit down and chat with me. I think this video will be like 10 minutes, but I just want to chat and just talk to y'all. And just say thank you so much. We've been doing this for almost a year and a half now. Yes, we have. A year and a half. I didn't even talk about my year anniversary. Like, I was going to do a whole video, like, reviewing your year. I just never did. So, August, we hit a year on this channel. And this is kind of like, not the glass closing of 2021. But this is, like, my last chat before we end this year. I don't think I'll do another chat during the Christmas time. But this is my chat. My, let's talk about the year. You know, we're on our last month. We're about to get into December. I'm posting this November 30th, and it's just been a really amazing, extraordinary year for me personally. I want to get into it. I have had so much growth as a person this year, and as, as a creator, as a content creator, I've created the most amazing content. I feel like, not all was amazing, but majority of my content I gave, I think 95% of it, I really loved and enjoyed. This year was such a big year for me. I did so well. I achieved everything I wanted to achieve this year. And so, and so I just want to continue achieving the goals I have for myself that I want to do. You know, there's like little goals on YouTube I want to hit. And, you know, this year I really felt like I hit a lot of them. You know, this year it was so long. Like I hit a thousand subscribers this year and I felt like it was so long ago, but I did. I hit it. And like now it's like that was so long ago, but like I still hit it this year. I had my first video. Well, one of my first videos, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my first video hit 3,000 views very soon. It's like almost there it's like maybe like 60 views away now i've had multiple videos from like the past couple months scope to, to my top rating that's what i wanted like i've had so much success for how tiny i am i'm a micro 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 influencer i'm not even like anywhere near like a top rater but i feel so privileged and blessed to have the stuff hands i have you know you know and talk to people about my career you know it's like i talk to people about my online career i'm just talking about like you know it's my dream this is my dream this is my passion i come here so excited to talk to y'all and i think i forget that you know when i talk to this camera it's me and a friend like i feel like i'm talking to a friend but i you i don't realize i'm talking to millions and millions of people who don't always get my aura so always don't get my energy so i may come off so fierce in one video they're like wow who is this crazy kid but that's just the aura i give off that's just been the aura we've always given off in this channel so if you watch a lot of my videos like oh that's just Bristina. but like if you don't know who i am you will never understand the energy that we give on this channel and I think that's something i've realized oh my god my eyes like watering it's like my lash is like you know if i water this video it's fine you know what you know what not happening <sighs> you know i just learned that you know there is a maybe disconnect when I talk to y'all because like even like like when I'm at home I'm at 100% like when I'm here I'm at a thousand and a million percent but I'm always at a really high percentage but I'm not yes mom it's like oh, to my family like this is not how I talk to people like you know I think that's family really like I'm not always like that like when my family they're like what goes on in that room I'm just like honey I don't know like it's just like there's an energy when I come on camera there's just a second beam that takes my body and I'm just like Period. And I say period a lot. That's not like, and that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, I go to a million on here. And that's something I'm like, oh my God, am I a little bit too crazy? You know, am I, am I coming off so, am I coming off right? That's something I've always wanted to know. And, you know, I hope I'm coming off really lovely to y'all. And I hope I'm not always at 100%. 
But, like, that's what I love. And I just thought, I wanted to chat with you. Like, is that something, like, do you love my hot energy? Do you think sometimes it's really aggressive? Like, that's the thing I want to know. Like, should I be, that next year, I really want to work on that. Like, because some videos I'm just, like, coming down. Like, I'm like, bam, bam. Recently hasn't been like that, but sometimes I am. And then, like, you know, I just, I'm just something that, like, you know when you self-observe yourself, you're just like, oh, my God, that's not what I tried doing. But, you know, you just come off 100%. And you're just like, wow, maybe from a third perspective, you know, maybe I'm, uh, here when I should be out here so people can get to know me because some people don't know me and they join my channel they're just like what is going on baby there must be something wrong with you but that's just the energy we give so that's just something I've learned really from the Jeffree Star mystery box that you know I should my energy needs to be able to be matching because people don't know the energy that I give so there's like a little maybe a disconnect sometimes hold on this is not lighting up the background I'm gonna start crying am I crying yeah I'm already crying I don't care if I cry. I mean, at this point, it's just going to be like busted or not, you know? But, you know, I'm just going to cry. You know, is that something I've learned too? Like, you know, just, you know, like, when I do this, like, I hate watching my videos, like, editing them. I hate watching myself. Like, that's something I've also, like, you know, like, when you do a YouTube, like, you have to self-analyze yourself. And that's just, like, the most, like, no one on YouTube really talks about the psychoanalysis, like, the psychoanalysis of yourself. Like, I bet everyone who's a YouTuber is 20 million times percentage more. And just, like, am I really that intense sometimes? Like, some of them, I'm just, like... What's going on with me you know i'm just like that's not how I, like when i film a video i'm like oh, i killed it but then i watch back i'm just like that's not how i envisioned it in my head like i'm probably gonna do the same thing when i watch this video but you know did you just like psychoanalyze yourself a lot on youtube and that's just something i've learned that you know you can't do that you just gotta like you know you're gonna always act like 10 times crazier on camera because i mean let's be real who wants to be boring here you know i'm having this open conversation to with my fans this is not for like this is for new people too, like new queens and majesties and babes to come, but this is really like a chat. Like this is a chat I'm having with the a million, it could be seen by millions. It's not going to be seen by millions because I just never, it's never have, but this could be seen by a lot of people, thousands maybe, maybe hundreds, hundreds, you know, maybe 50. Um, but we have these conversations because I like to look back at these moments and look where I am and when I talk about myself, like when I'm like 10 years from now, I want to see where I am. And so... I'm having this conversation because I really just want to say that I'm working very hard on content and like how I want to like I'm working really hard on you know sometimes people are like I recently like my parents are just like that's not a little great the internet I know and if people have you know giving me like a lot of great feedback on that and I something I really have been learning on and been trying to take to a whole nother level because I can I can strip it down like this like I want to just record like on my phone Hello everyone, how are you doing? Like, I just want to be like Emma Chamberlain making coffee and just be like, killing him. HRH collection, just chatting, literally just chatting. That's what I want to do. Like, but because when I'm in here, I feel like it's a whole production. And I feel like we lose that one-on-one -on -one connection. I want to make an oatmeal and be talking to you. Like, that's what I want to do. So, this the first like I really want to change up my scenery. I really want to do more. I want to walk around. I want to do vlogs. Like, I just love makeup, and that's always been my passion. But it's not my dream. It's never been my dream just to do makeup. I always wanted to expand it out. I feel like I've been trying to expand it and like throwing little puzzles around, but I haven't expanded. And y'all do like when I do expand. Y'all, I've seen it. Like the comments and the likes are always more um, higher when I do expanding videos. And I really want to do that more. I want to chat with y'all and just like do fun videos. I know sometimes, you know, my favorite videos don't do as well as I thought they would do, but I don't ever see a video failing. I just see a video that's not what my fans wanted. And so I try to like work around, like, okay, what do they want? And then that's what I give them. Y'all love my makeup tutorials. Y'all love when I talk about makeup. Y'all love when I do like funner things on this channel. You know, gaming on my channel is just not something my fans, my queens, my babes, my kings want from me. You know, it's not something I, I've tried to incorporate that, but it's something I've really thought didn't like. So that's something I'm just like, okay. They don't want that. That's just something for me to do. Like, I really was like, that was something more of like a me project. I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad I didn't do this. But like, you know, the Mabel's life. I love doing it. It was my favorite thing I've ever done on my channel to this day. Like, it's like my favorite video I've ever filmed. Like, each single one of them, I just felt so happy. Like, the first video did so well. And the success of the series, I still think it was a success in my eyes because it was a sim series. And, you know, being a simmer and getting still that many views was like crazy. And, you know, it's sims like it's not like there's some people going in 100 million but the let's play you know it's like you can only get you know there's only a certain amount of people who want to watch a let's play let's be real so now i was just really proud of that and then 
I'm not gonna do that anymore. I will not do another Sims series, but I want to do like a Roblox video. Like I feel like a Roblox video would be really fun for us to do. Like just like, other fun types of videos. There's so many videos I want to do. There really is. And I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me. Like I do really cherish all of y'all in the comments. Like I sometimes cry when I read your comments because it just makes me feel so happy and I get, I'm gonna get emotional because y'all have really changed my life in so many different ways this past year. And I just wanna say thank you so much for such an amazing time. I've had such an amazing ride this year. This year we had so many fun videos. We had my Becky G translucent beauty. We had my Velour beauty one with the magnetic eyelashes. Like we got in codes, we've gotten sponsors, Merit and uh, Velour. We've gotten so much stuff this year. And you know, I'm such a t micro influencer, so anything that, like, even getting like, any recognition just reminds me, like, I have, like, to keep going, it just reminds me that I'm getting, like, just reminds me, just can, can you, like, you know, putting my step in the pedal? You know, there's been moments this year I'm just like, should I be doing this, you know? But I've never had a wanting to give up moment. There's those moments where just like, you know, there's sometimes there's moments where just like, you know, I think every YouTuber goes through this. I've been doing this for a year and a half. And, like, some it's like, sometimes the video, you're just like, why did this video do as well? And you just get in a rut and you're just like, is this over for me? Am I over? And I can't say that's never happened to me, but I don't try thinking like that. But when that does happen, I'm just like, no. I have no supportive fans and they love me and they always are showing up for me. So, once, like, I just want to be honest. Like, I do sometimes say in those ruts. Like, I'm just like, is this over? Recently, I've been like, you know what? I have to grab what I want. And I've been like, you know what? I'm going to start posting more videos. Because I've been like giving y'all once a week, once every nine days. No, baby, I'm back. Like, we we are together. You know, I'm going to be I'm gonna be filming to 2 a.m. I don't care. I know I got school. But I got this right here is what I want. And so I'm so proud and so grateful for all of y'all. I really, truly don't know what to say. You know, I just want to, you know, look at all the stuff I got. I got this from TJ Maxx. Wow. Jeffree Star is from TJ Maxx, everyone. So everyone go to TJ Maxx if you want some Jeffree Star. I literally got all the stuff, like all of it. Hold on. Supreme Gloss is the house. So yeah, I got like 12 items. So TJ Maxx from Jeffree Star. But yeah, we've had so many successful videos. I think my favorite video I have filmed was the Mabel's Life video this year. We also had some really like, you know, some more like, moments like last video was like grammy's video that was so fun and y'all seem to enjoy that did really well the past like couple videos have been doing really well and so i feel like y'all are enjoying the content i've been giving because i'm really trying to explain expand and be super fun and be just people were fresh but also know that you know i can't be up here the entire time i gotta be able to like grab myself and be like baby maybe not a hundred percent maybe a sixty percent you know, some people don't like when I, like, I took a look from the comments in my, um, Jeffree Star video. Y'all gave me a lot of great feedback. And I really took that feedback from people who had never seen before and watched me. And like, okay, this is how people perceive me and they've never seen me. That's why I'm just like, I'm up here and the new people are down here. It's like, who is this? If they watch a couple more videos, then maybe they understand my energy. But I also want to be able to be able to mold. I'm not going to, like, change myself, of course. But I want to be able to be able to get, some, get, get to know me. Because I do know that my energy is really intense. Like, I'm an intense person, you know? She's a star. She's a starlight. And she just... You know? When people tell me I look good. Baby, I know I look good. Like, I didn't just turn this face on to look like a brick, honey. I put this face on to look good. Like, even though I should say thank you, I'm just like... Baby, I know. Like, you're gonna tell me, baby. I know I look good. Like, period. Like, but then it's just like, you know, I'm just like the hugest narcissist. I'm just like, oh my God, it's all about me. It's all about me. But, you know, sometimes I have to roll back because, like, it's not all about me. Like, I'm like the least, like, you know, like, when you see me at home, I'm just like a busted person. Like, I'm just always in my pajamas eating. Like, it's just, no. I'm just like, like, when I, like, my friends are like, oh my God, you're so, like, fancy on Instagram. I'm just like, I know. Three, I face two nose photos like a brick honey. Even though, you know, I can't see my makeup on here. It's, I think my makeup is pretty good. But, like, you know, there's so much. They're just like, honey, that face tune, honey. You just go in. You just go in. And so, yeah, so I have been like, you know, oh, my God. I rebranded this year. That was something I've always wanted to do. I rebranded. And I do believe it was something I I needed to rebrand. And I'm going to stay Brixina. Because I didn't want to be Brixie Queen anymore. That's just, that's not, I don't. I don't know who that person is anymore. And, you know, I feel like I've just evolved to something greater and something better. And Brixtina is my, like, my rebrand. It's not my rebrand. It's just my rebirth. 
and Bricks the Queen people, a lot of people knew who Bricks the Queen was, but I'm reintroducing myself. So I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of like everything to a certain video, I've really just not really looked at, you know? I've taken my own self and just self analyzed my whole self. Like I rebranded on Instagram, deleted everything, I archived everything. Because I still have a lot of memories. Like, oh, sorry. I still have a lot of memories. I just, like, shook the camera. I have a lot of memories I love. It's something I do love. But I archive them because that's not the person I am anymore. And I really have been, you know, posting a lot of reels and trying to be, fun, like, you know, doing funny more reels and just being a little bit more, like, not just a face, but, like, I want to add a person to the face. I just don't like talking on Instagram. I feel so, I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, my God. I keep, like, moving the camera. I'm sorry. All I know is that. This is a new year for me. This year is going to be very different than this year. I am going to be honest with y'all. In January, I'm going to change my content completely. There's going to be a whole new Brickstina. And it's not going to be all different. But I'm telling you, I'm going to start doing what I want to do. And I really want to start vlogging. I really want to take my vlogs to a whole nother level. I really want to be editing like to like a trillion. This video is not going to be edited. It really isn't. I'm just going to upload it because I don't think I need to edit anything. I think I love the video I just posted. I'm just going to like, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just really going to post it. So I'm so grateful. And I just wanted to be honest with y'all. Like this is going to be this last, like December is the last year. I'm going to start adding some new content, new backgrounds. And then the January, we're really going to, we're really going to take force. I'm really taking 2022 as my year. I know I said 2021 was my year and I feel like we improved a lot, but it was not my year. And I, I'm so much better as a person. I feel very strong where I am right now and I feel very blessed and I feel very found. I'm a very person that says I'm rare, I'm vulnerable and I know that, you know what, you have to be really open with yourself and be able to have these conversations with yourself and talk to people like, you know what, sometimes I'm a little lost. But through that lostness, there's always, always a glimmer of light. And when you walk into it, you will not be found, but you will be appreciated and you will be accepted in that light that you walk to. I'm always a believer that no one is ever found. No one is ever going to be 100%. Because it's just not how humans were made. We're meant to, you know, be destructed and bruised and battled through traumas and all that. But we're meant to bat. We're meant to surpass them. Humans are meant to grow. We are meant to make mistakes. We are meant to learn, you know, that was not the right thing for me to do. Let me rethink that. Let me heal. And then let me fix. Let me not fix, but let me repatch. Repatch something that was lost, you know? And so that's what I say. I like to repatch. I'm not fixing or trying to throw away an old life, the Brixtina, the Brix the queen life. I'm just repatching. It's like when you get a pumpkin, you're just putting new seeds on. I'm not changing the soil. Same pumpkin seed. I'm just adding new ones to grow. You know, same pumpkin patch, same pumpkins going to be end of the year, but it's just different. It's a bit more refined. It's just a little bit extra rare. I love you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this chat with me. I am so grateful for all the love you've given me. I'm so excited for this next year, and I'm so excited for the next journey we're going to take together. I love you. For my top kings and queens out there, you know who you are, and you know I love you. You know I love you. And... I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching my open conversation. And I hope we can have more of these. So I'll see you next week. Well, this week. Because there will be one more video this week. So, yeah. i see you really soon. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I hope that you enjoyed it and liked it. And I hope that you know that this open conversation is for us. It's just for us. I love you.